Save these dates for tax season. So the first date you gotta remember is April 15th. That's when your personal tax returns can be due. If you have a multi-member LLC, so two or more people in your LLC or, or an S corporation, it's gonna be due March 15th. And now don't forget about estimated tax payments. That's gonna be due April 15th, June 15th, September 15th, and January 15th. Now getting into the fun stuff, deductions and credits. So the child tax credit, just file. IRS said, don't wait. Don't, who knows when the lawmakers are ever gonna decide on when it's ever gonna get extended. If so, they'll probably just kick you back the payment anyways. Student loan interest, you're gonna get $2,500 off of that. If you got a home office that you actually use because you're self-employed, don't forget about that. If you pay for health insurance premiums, also write those bad boys off too. And don't forget, since I know you didn't do any tax planning this past year, some band-aid solutions for you are going to be contributing towards your traditional IRA or your HSA also because that'll actually reduce your income taxes. And now for anyone that qualifies for the earned income tax credit. So this is for working folks and it can range anywhere from 600 bucks to 7,400 bucks. So this is how you can really get money out of the government. It's actually refundable. And then don't forget about the American Opportunity Tax credit. So while all you college students out there, it's $2,500 for anyone that went to college. Uh, first four years only qualifies. If you want more details, of course, check out the IRS guidelines. Share it to your friends so they don't get any penalties and they save the date.